Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Jacob's Family Reviews, where I give an honest, unbiased review on many different products from outdoors, electronics, household, lawn and garden, you name it. If I've got it, I'll review it. And then you decide if it's right for you. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Now, if any time during or after this video you wish to learn more about a product or want to purchase it, simply click on the link in the description below this video. When you click on that link, you'll be taken to my Amazon storefront video page like this. But don't worry about the video. You don't have to watch it again unless you want to. But you could click right here on the product link and that'll take you to that product. But before you do, if you could give me a thumbs up right here, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, on to the product. You click here and it'll take you to this page right here. Here's your Amazon page. Reviews, details, well, the whole works. It's Amazon, you know. Okay, without further ado, on to the product review. All Thank right, you. today we're looking at the Instapot, the IP Duo 80. This is the eight quart. They are available in a six quart and a three quart. Now this one we've had for about six or seven years, going on strong still. We've used this, oh my God, like uh, probably at least a few times a month when we first purchased it. Now or maybe maybe once every couple months or so, but we still like it. Uh, we got it for really the rice and the multigrain, but there's so much that you could do on this, on this Instapot. You can make soups, you've got a meat and stew, option bean and chili which i think is uh more heat for less time you have a uh, poultry chicken slow cook saute you could adjust the uh pressure and then you've got a keep warm and cancel button there uh but all the functions work great it's very simple you put your water in there or your uh liquid and your ingredients, your rice, your vegetables, your uh, proteins, and then just adjust the time, choose either low or high pressure, and then it kicks in about 20 seconds later, it starts going. So, I mean, it's really, really an awesome tool. Uh, <laughs> this appliance, we have made, uh, God, so many things, chicken marinara, uh, teriyaki chicken, it's my favorite. We did a Spanish paella in here with rice, a lot of vegetables, and seafood like uh, shellfish, a uh, little bit of shrimp, some mussels, clams, and squid. It was very, very good. Now, the secret to a good paella is the sofrita sauce, so check that out. We also did a barbacoa beef in here. We did the a uh, recipe we got from my mother called the Mississippi Pot Roast. That was really, really good. And then we've done a lot of Chinese Five Spice Country Ribs. That is like my all-time favorite. You put all the ingredients in there, you spice up the ribs, and uh, I think it's done in like 20 minutes. Let's see, what else did we do? Uh, jambalaya. Yeah, well, yeah, we've done a sausage jambalaya. And we do chicken dumplings, which is very, very cool. Um, yeah, so we definitely like it. Uh, if you guys are looking for a Instapot brand, steam, steamer, uh, a pressure cooker, you could do a lot in, in this. And it's, it is very simple to use. You just put your stuff in there again. You, you close it, plug it in, turn it on, adjust your settings, and then it just goes. And when this thing drops, the pressure is ready. Or it, it's low pressure and it's safe to open as long as this red button here drops down. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. That one right there. So that's the safety button there. When the pressure is high, this red button's up. So while it's cooling, and your venting is on after usually 20 minutes to 40 minutes maybe this button drops down so it's safe to open and you won't get uh you know burnt there so definitely a thumbs up highly recommended hope this video was helpful